Okay, today we are going to show you how to polish a crank. You can see the you can see on the crank where there is marks and it is not a smooth surface. We're showing you a before picture. Right now we're measuring the crank to see if the crank is polishable and we're going to be within specifications when we're said and done. Just finished doing all the main bearings. We're going to go back and do all the rod bearings now. As you can see, we just did the rod bearings. And you can see that's a nice smooth surface on there. The only thing we have left now is to do where the rear main seal will ride. As you can see, these all have a very nice finish to them now. Let me ask you this though, if we wanted to save some money, could we just bypass not polishing the crank? No, you wouldn't want to bypass that. There's scratches in the crank, that could destroy the bearings, you can take out the rest of the motor. So the best thing is to polish that and make sure it's within specs, it'll make the motor last for a long time. Is this something I could do at home? This is something you can't really do at home unless you had a lathe and a belt polisher. This is something we recommend to send to an engine shop. So somebody's professional, they know what they're doing. There's certain specs, certain guidelines you want to keep within the tolerance of the crank. How do I, how will I know if I, if I can repolish the crank that I have 
or if I have to get a different one. Get Which the best thing to do is bring it into a machine shop and have them looked at, have them mic'd up and checked to make sure you're within specs. So there's going to be certain scratches that are too far in there. So if you go too far in the scratches, then the crank itself has to be ground undersized for different size bearings. Okay, is there anything else I have to do besides having it polished like this? Uh, basically, that's, that covers everything. That, when you're done polishing the crank like that, best thing to do is make sure you use a cleaner to clean out all the oil journals, make <coughs> sure there's no metal debris in there, any stuff from the polishing belt in there. You don't want to send that through a new motor. You can destroy the motor. What does it usually cost me to have a crank polished like that? Uh, it depends on the shop. Usually they have something polished like that. It can range from $40 up to $70. It depends on who does it. What's, uh, what sandpaper do you use for that? Uh, this one we use a 400 grit. Normally we use between 300 to 400, depends on the finish. Uh, the, the smaller the number is a little harder finish. You go to a little taller number like the 400, gives you a little better finish to it. All right, well thank you. Remember folks, if you have any questions or need to have any machine shop work done, you can give us a call at the Engine Doctor, number 616-531. 3554 or you can go to our website which has pricing on there also for any machine shop services that you need. Uh, we do ship, we are located in Grand Rapids, Michigan, but we do ship all over the world.